I am often told that time heals wounds and going through tough times can only make you stronger. For many, 2021 was supposed to be the year of change. With so much worldwide conflict and unexpected lockdowns in the previous year, many were very excited for the future. Just seeing familiar faces again in person was exciting for many. At the same time, some were still fearful and would proceed with extreme caution. As well, is change always a result of external factors that are out of your control? Or can you shape the path of your future to create that change? Not knowing what the day will be like is a constant theme for me each year it seems, and 2021 was no different. One thing that has been familiar in recent years has been the wild animals that I encounter. Regardless of what has been happening around the world, these little guys have been consistently a delight to be around. As evident this year, their frequent encounters with them has created a level of trust that one would normally only expect from other people. I have always been warned to stay away from wild animals when a parent is around their baby as they simply won't trust anyone as they aren't smart enough to discern the difference between good and bad people. But what if they actually embrace your presence? That's what happened this year. Various animals that recognized me have now started families. With that, they were delighted whenever they saw me around. A familiar woodpecker caring for its offspring with me being right next to it. Is there a way to explain how special this feels? How about the geese that has a reputation of being aggressive towards everyone? But for myself, they always treated me how I treated them. By taking the time to understand how they view the world, it made communicating fairly natural. It was perfectly normal for me to hang around their family as they welcomed it. Even during rough weather times, they seemed to have welcomed my presence. I have often heard the term bird brain as a way to imply that all birds are dumb. That doesn't seem to be the case from what I have experienced. How about meeting the raccoons this year? I may not be able to speak their language but communication doesn't always need to be with words. Okay. Regardless of what others may say, if you genuinely take the time to learn about others, you may learn new things that give you a completely different perspective in life. Each year I attempt to learn new things that I didn't know before, but it seems that for some people, they want to remain the same while making things worse. There was a massive increase in reported crimes towards people of Asian descent. Last year alone, anti-Asian crime rose by 717% in Vancouver. I repeat, 717% alone in one year. I often express how I feel that the mass majority of people are good. However, from my observation, most people will simply do nothing when they see that something is wrong. The best example this year was reading a story on how an elderly Asian woman was attacked as a doorman in a building, simply watched and closed the door on her. These issues generated a protest that was being labeled as stopped Asian hate. To think we still live in a time where people feel that the color of your skin automatically makes you a friend or foe to them. I even had a family member that got attacked this year in broad daylight. Okay, I can't believe what I read last night with all these stories of these Asian hate crimes and stuff like that, people wondering if it's a thing. I learned apparently one of my family members was actually attacked by someone just around the area. It was basically unprovoked again. It seemed like the person was just going up to people and in this case, they got smashed with a weapon and they had to go to the hospital and everything like that? What the heck? Is this something that will ever change? 
It makes me think with that saying about a bird brain again. Considering this year showed me that birds are smart enough to be able to judge a person like myself, not by my ethnicity, but rather my actions. Does this mean people who insist in being racist are dumber than a bird? Is it too hard just to treat each other with respect? Even the animals know how to, quote, get along with other people. It's easy to just say everyone else is crazy or selfish, right? But as I go through life, I often look for new perspectives. This year, there were a lot of protests. This must be mass protests in Vancouver Day. It's all different subjects to my knowledge. Everything from the environment to discovering the horrific past of children being buried at residential schools. As I explored these protests, one common theme is how people felt there wasn't enough work being done for their cause. Could it be that there are just so many issues in the world where everyone is left to fend for themselves to try and create that change? People even invited me this year to get a first-hand look into why they do what they do. Come on in, check out our revolution. Okay, tell me what's about. <laughs> are these signs all made by you guys here? Yeah, we screen, still screen, screen printed all these signs. Okay. So at this point, we feel that we don't have a choice. If we let this go for seven to nine years and we reach irreversible tipping points, you know, we, we, we don't have a choice. We have to act now. Many people were even willing to be arrested just to try and force that change to happen. But can you ever truly change issues that seem bigger than one person could ever do on their own? Should you just sit back and wait? Even when it came to the animals, I saw them fighting with each other at times as they felt the need to in order to survive in the world. Oddly enough, there were even times where animals would simply watch each other fight versus getting involved. So maybe this is a universal behavior to avoid the problems of others. But while groups of the same kind are fighting amongst themselves, even I noticed in nature that there is always someone in the background who is a real threat to them. That was actually a test for me this year. As I went about with my day, life took a twist as a large music company in India decided to harass me. This is literally a giant corporation known as T-Series. It just says here on the Wikipedia in terms of how the company was founded and stuff, it says, T-Series was founded on 11th July 1983 by Gulshan Kumar, at the time a fruit juice seller in Dera Ganj, neighborhood of Delhi. The company initially sold pirated Bollywood songs prior to releasing original music. As it turned out, it appeared that their company claimed copyright for some music that they did not own, but believed they did. I just happened to be the person who uncovered this. Instead of graciously investigating this on their end, they decided to issue legal takedown notices on my videos, regardless that I was 100% in the right. Was this simply a case of a juggernaut feeling they can do as they please, as realistically, a smaller person like myself would be crushed financially if I dared to challenge them? Surely, I should just leave it and hope things work out in my favor, correct? Sometimes in life, you need to take a stand and be that change which is needed. Imagine all the people they have potentially bullied in the same way. What does it take for someone to do something? Call me crazy, but I decided to fight back. I initiated a legal response process which meant I was opening myself up to go through the daunting legal system to prove that I was in the right. The ball was now in their court. As it turned out, they backed off and I won. So ultimately today I got the result and yeah, I guess I defeated T-Series. David versus Goliath, I guess. So they actually released the claim and all that. Well, they didn't release the claim. I guess YouTube decided, well, I, they didn't act on to it. So yeah, they're reinstating the video and stuff like that. And they're removing all the strikes and whatever. So maybe sometimes you need to fight the good fight when no one else can help you but yourself.
One thing that was definitely a change this year was the adventure I went on that came out of nowhere. I was asked if I would be open to traveling to an area called Barkerville to help film a show about a bunch of people trying to find gold. Very little of, uh, they say that only 10% of the gold in the world comes to you as a nugget. Now you see that? Isn't that impressive? That it is, is impressive. Yeah, not as impressive as this one. So here, well, yeah. have a look at that. And while, I, while you're passing that one around, yeah. out of that ground, ground, before... in the ground, in the ground. I agreed, and it was definitely an experience. Well, this is fun. Utilizing my skills, such as filming with a drone, I was able to help capture unique perspectives to help them tell their story more effectively. So we uh, got some great drone footage. Yeah, uh, awesome I know, stuff. I was good at it. <laughs> it almost didn't even feel like work, since I enjoyed it so much and all my days of practice made everything feel natural. It was a change going to an area that literally feels like the middle of nowhere compared to a busy city. My gosh, the internet was so slow over there. They even got me to use a firearm for experience sake. I like that one. That's a good gun. Oh no, Alan's coming up next. What the? Yeah, you are. So yeah, too. you are. <laughs> Try with that one. I felt com I felt Come confident on, with that one. Come on, Alan. American. Come on. We will take American over your duties. You. What in the world did I get myself into? I did not yes. sign up for this. I didn't expect that. I could have said no, but sometimes you need to experience different things in life. There you go. Video game. There you go. Not. You need that Whenever sound you're ready to fire, pull the trigger. Okay. Push it against your shoulder. Nice one. Right. Nice one. Back. Nice one. Four. Go again. Back. Go on, cock it. There you go. Push it into your shoulder. That's angry. And fire. Atta boy, excellent! I even got to see animals I don't normally see such as a moose. Just visiting the area and learning about its history can put things into perspective as well. It's easy to say how with all the things happening in life, it can appear that each year not much has changed. But when you really look back like here, that couldn't be further from the truth. Perhaps each day we truly do change and grow a lot. Sometimes we just need a different perspective to see it.
Alright, see you guys later.